80% of our GDP is tourism, and that is extremely high. In the Caribbean region, it is about 14%, and I believe in Holland it is three to three and a half, but on Bonaire it is 80%, and that is very high. Nowhere in the Caribbean has the coral been preserved, as well as in the seas of Bonaire. 70,000 tourists come here every year, to dive and enjoy the enchanting underwater world. This valuable treasure is the driving force behind the island's economy. Many local people work in, in jobs that they are directly related with the, with the quarry, for example, as a dive master, as a dive instructor, as a boat captain, or as just any employee of a dive shop or a dive resort, yeah, namely a waitress or a cleaning lady, they are all there having a job because of the tourists that come here to see the coral reef. Nature is a valuable asset, but how valuable exactly? The VU University in Amsterdam posed the research question, what is the economic value of nature on Bonaire? At first instance, people were a bit wary. They were surprised about the question, saying, well, nature, we are nature. We are enjoying nature in so many different ways uh, that it's strange to actually attach a monetary value. Although the researchers were able to determine the value of Bonaire's nature capital. And uh, it clearly showed that the tourism industry was by far the most important, specifically financial value, contributing to the economy of Bonaire. In terms of tourism, the environment on this tropical island represents an annual value of $40 million. But the research was not limited to tourism. The environment is also extremely valuable for numerous scientists. Why do you count them? Well, it's important to know how the population is if we're, if we're stabilized or if there's fewer one year than the other, and if so, why, and where they're going on the island. So uh, we track all that data to understand the population and if it's increasing or decreasing. And how are they doing? Uh, I've been with the project now for five years, and our numbers are quite constant. It's easy to access the reefs, it's easy to access nature, and therefore it draws researchers from all over the world uh, who do their PhD research, master thesis research, uh, but also research fellows that are stationed here to uh, do all kinds of very innovative uh, studies. According to the VU University in Amsterdam, environmental research yields one and a half million dollars every year. Fishery on Bonaire was also studied. Results showed that the economic value is not what matters most. Actually, something that is much more important is the emotional pleasure that fishermen uh, have while fishing, especially the recreational fishermen. In a small island like Bonaire, uh, they have been fishing for many generations, and they are they are depository of a very high cultural assets. They are part of the culture of the island, and if they are not a uh, fish, this very important part of the culture of Bonaire will disappear, which we really think this will be a shame. So although fishing predominantly has a cultural value on Bonaire, it also has an annual economic worth of one and a quarter million dollars. The most surprising research result wasn't found on Bonaire, but in the Netherlands. As a special municipality, the island belongs to the Kingdom of the Netherlands. And apparently, 
most of the Dutch population is willing to pay to preserve the Dutch Caribbean. The monthly amount was around 5 euros, which is around 6 or 7 dollars per month, uh, to contribute to nature protection in Bonaire. That tallies up to 60 million dollars. So the Dutch are willing to invest 60 million dollars per year to conserve nature in the Dutch Caribbean. Bonaire has around 16,000 inhabitants, which is by far insufficient to generate enough funds to manage nature uh, in a proper way. And therefore support from abroad, in this case the Netherlands, is very important to ultimately uh, bring nature management up to a level that will sustain nature uh, for future generations. The willingness to pay for the conservation of the environment is important information. The coral is still healthy, and to keep it that way requires expensive measures. They cannot handle so many stressors. Water quality degradation is just one of the, one of the stressors. Coastal development is also a, a huge threat. So, uh, especially in Bonaire, where you have coral reefs so close to the, to the coastline, Everything you do here in the coast affects the, yeah, the reef immediately. The same They're day. very, very close. <laughs> yeah. But uh, that's also why people love this island, because they can go into the water just the, out the, of their the, own the house. The main asset of the island is just here, 30 meters yeah. away of your front porch. Yeah. Yeah, so it, this, is, this is huge and it's good, but it's also a threat. Yeah. It's a very fragile uh, environment. According to the research by the VU University, this fragile environment represents a total value of $100 million every year. Intuitively, many people were already aware of the fact that nature plays an important role. But now that they see the real number and they see the real importance, the urgency of doing something uh, to protect nature more than we currently do, uh, this urgency has increased and people have become more aware of the importance to protect our nature and improve its quality as soon as possible.